What's up guys, it's Mac 111 I am getting hit by a beam of light. Currently, it is what it is. It is a Friday afternoon. I am filming this. I have another giant unboxing. Last week's video did really well. You guys seem to really like these big collection unboxing videos that I did. I had a few people be like, oh, Alec Mac, there's no way that that was $2,000. If you add any of that up and do any sort of mathletics, um, it's like three grand at retail and then it was like two grand is probably what I'm gonna sell it for around that realm and we have another big unboxing today so first thing first um, it was six hundred dollars for the collection last week I think two people got that so message me on Instagram or anything um, I will send you a free patch room to sticker just for you for you guys to guess it right you can guess again on this box this box I bought off eBay the first one that's gonna be in the top this one I bought from a guy I forgot this in a collection I actually did this in kind of a trade so I traded my polar star in this and some cash and so we have another sort of collection and then I got two incredible polar stars for you guys to see so I'm gonna save those to the end make you guys wait a little bit um, but this is another collection so same thing stickers patches let's get into it yo you know when the winds pick up and the sun comes out that it's going to be a good unboxing fall vibes are here I'm going camping this weekend so I'm getting this video out uh, doing it a little bit earlier than I normally do but I am excited for this. Man, uh, he did a good job packing the externally. Uh, internally wise, it's hard if you have this big of a box and as much stuff as he did, but everything looks like it's in good shape. So we are going to start out with gun number one. It comes in an Aries Amoeba box. This is AM009. Um, this is actually cool because this gun, I actually was part of the prototyping for Z-Shot. I worked for them when this gun was originally coming out, like the first versions of this. So I ended up running this at some of the American Milsim games. Now this is different, this is a much newer one. We did not have the straight triggers back then, but I ended up running the original ones of these and they were really, really cool. They had some MOSFET issues, but they shot laser beams out of the box and the newer generations are no different. This one has a really cool muzzle break there on the front. Hopefully it's not gotten too dark, but this is the muzzle break on the front and it looks really good. I love the Ares Amoeba Tan. I also really like these bodies because they come with really nice metal rail systems, but they do come with a kind of polymer body but it's not like the cheap g and g plastic it's like the pretty high quality plastic i've never seen an aries amoeba body break i'm sure they have but i have not yet seen it and they do feel like it's pretty solid plastic um, i really like their grips i love the texturing on these as well as their stocks they just have a lot of room you can hold stuff in there you get easy access to stuff iron sets are nice i love what he did with the muzzle brake on this i don't know if this is stock or extra but this looks so good, makes it look super good on this rifle. So first gun is definitely hitting, and I think this one's brand new if you left the sticker on it. I'm not 100% sure, but it literally doesn't look like it's been touched or used at all. Alrighty, up next we have a Predator Tactical Iron Strike pistol. I think I had one of these before, and silver was what the one I got from Evike. But this one's actually pretty dope. It's got a really cool gold barrel, gold hammer, gold trigger. Um, I actually really like the serrations up on top. It show, just shows the barrel a little bit better. Uh, sorry, the holes, the serrations on the side and the holes at the top. But I actually think that's really cool. It's a custom too. Looks like, once again, brand new. This might have been something he got in the mystery box as well. I think he said that some of these guns weren't even like mystery box. Which brings me, I ended up finally, hopefully I'm getting the Labor Day mystery box this week. I've took an L in the past two mystery boxes and it's been a while since I've done one. So I'm going to try and get on that for you guys. But really like this pistol. This thing's awesome. It's smooth. 1911s are just so good in your hands. They just feel awesome. And they're one of the coolest pistols around honestly it's like just a great platform i'm not more of a double stack 1911 guy with the high kappas but i do appreciate a single stack 1911 as well all right up next we have another pistol another really hitter right here um this is an when always you see a white box you always know it's going to be a good day this is the sai saying arms international boxes and you guys have seen these many many times on my channel this is a sai 4.3 i think this is like probably like the fifth one of these I've had once again literally like new this dude didn't must have got some guns and didn't use them a whole lot this thing looks like it's literally maybe been test fired doesn't even have wear from inserting the magazine in and out but really nice pistol these things have really cool fiber optic green sights the back irons are actually really cool really easy to line up when you're acquiring sight picture um, it's got silver trigger silver hammer that gold SAI barrel we've come to know and love 45 ACP, SAI International. These are just awesome pistols. They feel really good in your hands as well. Um, they, I think you can actually, some of these stuff, I'm not 100% sure, but some of these stuff I know you can interchange with TM. I think some of it's TM compatible, so you can upgrade these, but out of the box, they're awesome little pistols. They're not that expensive either for what you get. This lighting is going wild, but it is time 
for another gun. This is a G36 of some sort. Let me get it opened up. Yeah, this thing is awesome. It's a ST Armament G36 of some sort. Um, it's like got the M4 stock adapter and also the folding stock. ST stuff is either really hit or miss. It's either really cheap, but I know they have some nicer stuff as well. Um, it does have a key mod rail system, which is actually pretty nice. And this is a metal key mod rail system. It is a little bit loose, but I'm guessing this nut here could probably be tightened a little bit. Normal G36 flash hider, nice monolithic rail up here. Got your, all your ambi controls for this stuff as well. Um, it's a really nice setup. I actually really like this. I guess the magazine release is an ambi, but everything else is. And it's actually a really cool gun. I have not seen these. It doesn't... I always kind of think the G36 are a little bit weird when you're using a uh, Stanag magazine. Just because that... I don't, I don't know if you guys think about the same way. I just think that looks a little bit weird. I'd rather see a G36 with a G36 magazine. But I'm also not a huge G36 fan. I think they're cool, but I wouldn't say they're anything special. All right, for that, we got four of the Evike BAMF... Or three of the Evike BAMF mags and then one of the Ares Amoeba midcaps. We got two things of green gas. One of these is... I think this is completely full and this one's a little bit used. Now that we are done with the green gas cans, we have two revolvers. One of these, this one is the Elite Force Hater. I actually... This is the second one I've owned. Um, the first one I got like a few months ago and then this is a game face something game face GF 600 so I believe these are both co2 non blowback revolvers that's actually a pretty cool little system honestly you get two revolvers you kind of get to mess around this one uses the traditional where you kind of put the BBs oh it is the same it looks like it's the same like magazine clippy system I believe that they both run I know the haters use like this clip system which is the only time you're actually out loud to use clip. You can see there's a little bit different. The one's a little bit smaller, the one's a little bit bigger, but that's a pretty cool little setup. And the last pistol of the box before we get to the grenade is Elite Force 1911. Got another one of these, man. Uh, this one is actually my favorite colorway, maybe besides the gray one. Um, but I this was the first Elite Force 1911 tack I ever got this color. I love the tan lower. I love them intermixing tan and black for those of you that don't know. And I also really like the dots on these Elite Force sites. They're white front and white back. You kind of can line them up a little bit easier. I know a lot of people like to run different colors, but with Airsoft, these actually line up pretty well and they're pretty easy to line up when you're kind of acquiring targets and stuff. But really cool little pistol. And last but not least in the unboxing, we have some CO2 cans and then also an XL Burst grenade. I actually did a review of these uh, XL Bursts for Airsoft Innovations back in the day when these originally came out. And I still have mine. I actually really, this is probably my favorite grenade that airsoft innovations ever released i think it's sweet this one's definitely been used you can tell that he's kind of thrown it a lot it's got the beat up right here but you know they're good if they're lasting like this all you gotta do is replace the blast cap in the bottom of these fill them up with gas and you're good to go again which is really cool Alrighty, package number two this is the double polar star package and i think you guys are going to love this i just know when i saw them come up on ebay i was like yo those look so cool i am definitely super interested in this message the guy ended up buying them from him and i got both of them and so this is a big polar star collection right here oh as the wind picks up all right gun number one is a crytac m4 so it looks like the extended inner barrel wow son all right up next is gun number one i'm sorry for the lighting i once again lit up it's probably because this crytac came out but here it is this is a crytac m4 i think this is the mid length uh, might be the SPR length, I'm not 100% sure, but the barrel does go all the way through it. It's got an RVG in here, some canted iron sights, which is pretty cool because there is a short dot scope on here. This is a uh, 2.5 by 10 by 40, so that's pretty cool. You kind of get adjustable zoom on that as well. So he's kind of run this as a little bit of like a marksman setup or whatever you want to call it. It does have an Ares Amoeba grip, which once again, I told you guys I like these. I think these ones are the shorter ones and it's a little bit annoying grip wise because I like a little bit thicker grip, kind of like the other one is. That one's just a little bit wider and then just a normal LE stock. And inside this baby, you have a Pro Win hop up chamber. And I think, I can't remember if this one's an F1 or a jack. The Crytac doesn't allow me to see far enough in. It would be sitting right there. I think this one's a jack, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, F1s and jacks are both the lower end of the Polar Star engines, but they are nice. I mean, nothing compares to the Fusion engine, but any Fusion, any HPA engine is incredible, for being honest. Um, and this thing is in really good shape. It looks really good. It doesn't look like it's been used that much, to be honest. Body still is in awesome external condition. Um, it's a great little gun, and it does have a speed trigger. You know, you guys know how much I love speed triggers on Polar Stars. They're just unbeatable. 
In this, he included four of the e-bike BAMF mid-caps. I've heard people say that they really like these magazines. I have not used them. I like the GMP ones and the EPMs a lot, but I've heard they're really good. And then he also included two tanks as well. First one is a pure, um, I think this is a 90, 4500 based on the size. I'm not sure if these are still in hydro as they are. This one looks a little bit older. And then next is a Ninja 68, 4500. Both these tanks, carbon fiber tanks, are so nice um, carved but it looks like this one is just out of hydro and then this one yeah so both these tanks will need rehydro but i think it's only like 25 bucks i've actually never had tanks rehydroed um i always have either my brother do it or i've sold the tanks i you just keep one tank you guys know i really only need one tank you don't need two unless you have two guns which this package does it looks like he was running a gemtech black side suppressor on this spr as well that would make sense and it probably wasn't just it was just too long to fit in the box without it but that looks much much better on the gun and then he's also got an insanely huge scope for this next weapon and this is one of the coolest polar stars i have ever seen this is a bingo custom fn f2000 i believe this has an internal magazine well is what he's running this with he was running it as some sort of DMR setup as he's got this massive scope. He said this gun was shooting absolute laser beams. Um, you can see that the tank line is coming out, or the uh, the engine line is coming out here. It's an amped line of some sort. And then you can hear everything in here. There's also a power button over here on the side. I'm not sure exactly what that's for, but it does light up when you push it in. I'm not sure if that's to denote that the fusion engine is on and you switch batteries and stuff. I have owned an F2000 way back in the day. Yeah. Wow. So you turn it on right here. So that turns on. I must take the battery out of here, but that turns on the gun. So if I put air and hooked it up to it right now, that is so cool. Wow. Just looking at the inside of this, you can see the fusion engine right there. I think some of the BBs just came out of the magazine. It's using an M14 magazine, which is really interesting because usually this uses a standard M4 standing magazine but it looks like the cutting in here somehow he's done this so that it fits an m14 magazine which i think is really interesting it gives you a little bit extra magazine capacity but everything does run in here bingo is a mastermind when it comes to custom guns and the fusion engine and all the stuff's back here so i think these bbs are just kind of settling around a little bit and i'll mess with those oh yo no way so this thing actually has a round counter as well so i was wondering it does this all turn everything on so he's got a round counter. Bingo must have put a round counter up there. I think I owned a Bingo Works P90 at one point, but it was nothing like this one. I don't know if this is a newer one, but it's got a round counter and everything. So you can count. I mean, with a high cap, you kind of have a lot of rounds. It doesn't really matter. But this is an awesome gun. I mean, this setup right here, guys, if you're not believing, this is probably like a $1,200 setup with everything. Maybe closer to $1,500 with this gun alone because of how rare and how limited edition and kind of how custom this is. I wonder how many of the, I've never seen a Polar Star F2000 before. Nonetheless, one that is done by Bingo. Um, I'm sure there's maybe ways to do it with a Jack or an F1, but the Fusion engines, like I said, guys, they're just the best. I think this might have a tracer in it as well. Based on what he's running through here, he's got some wiring on the bottom. Um, he might be running a tracer through there, and I, I would assume the inner barrel would run all the way to the end. Yeah, you can see it's foam filled and it runs all the way to about right there. That is insane. I actually really want to get some gameplay with this. I am supposedly playing in a few weekends. Fall season is settling in and we're excited to go. But man, this is sick. Dang, and that's how he set it up right there. That is so cool. I've got to play with this. I've honestly got to get some gameplay with this. I, so next time I play, what do you say? We get like 500 likes next time that I play a game. Um, I will use this next time I play. If this video gets 500 likes, I will use this next time I play Airsoft Big Bet. And then last but not least is two regulators. This one is just a Ninja LPR V2 and then an Airsoft Junkies regulator. Obviously, you got two guns. You need two regulators. Um, but this is a sweet unboxing. Honestly, nothing compares to this gun. Hopefully, the lighting hasn't been too bad. I know I've been blind half the time and in the dark half the time, so I might have to fix some of that in editing. But I appreciate you guys stopping by this I, hopefully you guys are in awe with this gun as much as i am because this is so cool like i'm literally kind of speechless to be honest but this thing is awesome i love you guys i appreciate you guys this has been alec mac 101 and i'll see you guys soon